Time for the second classic of the season in the Kipco 2000 Guinness. This one's for the Colts, of course. And a pretty good looking field for it. Let's take a look. The top Aston Martin for Dan Hughes, Cottage Duke for David Robertson, Desitmus, Jim Murray, Equivalent Exchange, Craig Allen, Future Speed, Alex Cherry, High Handed, Padre Hogan, Isationalism for Leon Van Rensburg. It was magic. Oh, David Hooley, Cuyuso, Nightingale, Vinnie Gerard, Man of Magic, Joshua Sutherland, Kelka, Sharp, Darren Thompson, Royal Aristocrat, Paul Rhodes has also got Sunday Silence going for a Guinness double, of course, and Vu John given for David Robertson. So 14 then. All oh, quietly installed and ready to go. And away they go, a little bit slow out was future speed and it was magic but apart from that they got out okay and it's Decimus who's gone on into the lead then so Decimus up the centre of the track is in the lead pulling for his head Sunday Science down on this near side Royal Aristocrat is disputing the lead as well so now he swapped angles in and Royal Aristocrat on a far rail just about in front from Decimus up the centre of the track who's been chased by a man of magic up the centre is Sunday Science Isationalism is also closed up and then with Aston Martin as well looking towards the back high handed has got work to do and so too has killed Gash Sharp, but it's Decimus who leads in as they already threw the first three furlongs in the 2000 guineas. And Royal Aristocrat is two lengths down in second. Stable mate Sunday Silence is in third. Then comes Cottage Duke, Aston Martin. Isolationism is after that one. Then Equivalent Exchange and Future Speed. Vujon Given is making a forward looking move as well, but it's still Decimus who's clear by about three. Two right over on the far side. Royal Aristocrat. Equivalent Exchange is now coming through up the centre of the track to throw it out of challenge. It's tugging with it. Mana Magic, the Gray making a forward move with Aston Martin and suddenly Decimus is challenged by Equivalent Exchange and also bursting up the rail then there, Cottage Duke and Equivalent Exchange but it's Cottage Duke who's now gone on Cottage Duke's just in front from Decimus inside the final two, Cottage Duke on the rail from Decimus and Equivalent Exchange Man of Magic is running, it's easy between these Royal Aristocrats trying to close, so I wanted to see others but now it's Equivalent Exchange who hits the front Decimus is fighting back, they've got a full on to go and it's Equivalent Exchange who's in the lead, a length clear of Decimus, Royal Aristocrat is flying but it's Equivalent Exchange Change in the lead up towards the line. Equivalent exchange. Decimus flying so too. He's high handed. Decimus. Oh, and really late was Coyuso Nightingale. But I don't think he got there in time. And I think Craig Allen's horse hung on. They were firing at him from everywhere at the end. Oh, it's closer than you think that. And I think the equivalent exchange has just about hung on. It has indeed, only by a short head though. Equivalent Exchange takes it for Craig Allen. Cayuso Nightingale absolutely flying at the finish. Was just, just held off by a short head in second for Vinnie Gerard. Decimus for Jim Murray third. Sunday Science for Paul Rhodes fourth. And high handed another one who was finishing well for Padraig Hogan was fifth. <laughs>